Tonight we are dining at Amatista Cookhouse here at the Sapphire Falls Hotel at Universal Orlando. If you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. So as everybody knows, a restaurant is solely judged on whether or not its bread and butter is good and how spreadable the butter is. And I will tell you that here, it's a five. So for a cocktail tonight, I chose to get the Smoke Show. This is a $15 cocktail. It is plantation dark rum, cinnamon, star anise syrup, Kahlua, and smoke. So it should hopefully have a smoky flavor. Uh, unfortunately, they do not smoke it at the table. It's not too bad. I definitely don't really get that much of a smokiness in there. I think I would like it to have a little bit more smokiness and a little bit more uh, cinnamon kind of heat bite to it as well. But uh, overall, it's pretty good. It's definitely not super sweet and not on the more drier like bitter side either. So it's kind of like this nice perfect balance and I actually really enjoy it. For my drink tonight, I got the Sapphire Margarita. That's like their drink here because we are at Sapphire Falls. And it is a Mi Campo Resposado Tequila, Cointreau, Simple Syrup, and Lime. And it is a blue colored margarita. It is quite good. It's almost a little strong in the lime. However, I do still really like it. Because this is a small cocktail, that means there's like a higher amount of alcohol in there. So this is definitely a drink that I am going to sip throughout the meal. However, it is very good. Um, I did forget to ask them for no salt on the rim. So I am just gonna make sure that I drink it through a straw because I don't like that salt taste with my margarita. For our appetizer tonight, we got the house-made empanadas. They come with roasted chicken and smoked gouda cheese with corn and vegetables. You can also get black bean in there instead of the cheese. These are fantastic. If you don't know, an empanada is basically a deep fried piece of dough, really, and then whatever you want to put inside of it. And this is fantastic. It is fried perfectly. The chicken inside is nice and juicy, and then the sauce that comes on the side of it, it is fantastic. Okay, so for my entree tonight, I got the seafood paella. This is a $34 dish. The seafood paella is a authentic Caribbean casserole with chicken, chorizo, calamari, shrimp, and mussels bell peppers, olives, onions, peas, and rice. Uh, this is a nut-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free option here uh, at Amatistas. Uh, overall, I think the flavors in there were pretty good. Uh, the only thing that I would have to like kind of gripe or pick at was that uh, the mussel seemed to be a little bit overdone uh, along with the actual calamari. And uh, it wasn't just the circular cuts of calamari, it was the full actual uh, calamari, like little tentacles types of things you saw Ethan try it so let's try it I'm scared uh, it looks it seems, seems like it'll be like goo gooey or squishy it's not actually either of those oh it's not that bad it's so chewy it's a little on the top side so, uh, I actually enjoyed the flavor, but again, I think that they were a little bit overdone, very, very chewy, um, which kind of took away from the dish. But flavor-wise, it was good. Not super spicy, um, had a nice uh, salty kind of richness to the dish overall. So, For my meal tonight, I got the jerk chicken flatbread. It's prepared with marinated chicken, mango barbecue sauce, cheddar cheese, peppers, queso fresco, scallions, and mango. The flatbread was actually really good. I liked the crust. It wasn't too crispy, but it had just enough crunch on there. And then the mango barbecue sauce was actually a little bit spicy. So I'm not sure exactly what it was in there, but there was definitely a kick of heat. 
The best part of the pizza was definitely the jerk chicken on the top. It was cooked perfectly and the seasoning was amazing. I think there was just a right amount of cheese and little green and red peppers on there, some scallions and the mango on top. I think the mango was there to kind of help balance out the um, spiciness in the sauce, um, but definitely you have to have a palate for spicier food if you get this pizza. All right, so for dessert tonight, we actually got two different options. Uh, we did the Caribbean rum cake. This is vanilla cake soaked with spice rum and coffee, crispy pecan crunch, house churned vanilla bean ice cream. Uh, and then we also got the Diablos chocolate fudge cake. This is a decadent buttermilk fudge cake layered with rich chocolate ganache and a berry salsa. So I actually didn't try the coffee cake, but the fudge cake was really good. It was super chocolatey and rich. It was a little bit dense, but I like a rich chocolate cake like that. And then the ganache was a nice thick layer in the middle and on the top. And it was amazing. Such a good rich chocolate cake. And we did actually steal some of the ice cream from Josh's coffee cake to go with the chocolate cake. This is actually really good. I wasn't really sure that I was going to like this because I don't like tiramisu, which is the ladyfinger cake that's served or that is soaked in alcohol. Um, but this is a little bit different. And the rum is not overpowering in it. Um, and then it's really balanced very, very well with the pecans and the coffee and the vanilla flavoring in there. So I actually really like this dish. It is served with the vanilla bean ice cream on the side, um, but I could probably eat this without the ice cream uh, because it's already a pretty sweet cake. It's not. Uh, it doesn't have as much savoriness to it as I would have liked to have, to have had, but uh, overall, it's pretty good. So we just finished eating at Amatista's and we came back to the room just to relax. We're starting to storm outside, mm -hmm. but I just want to wrap up. Yeah, so I think that it was overall a pretty good meal. Mm -hmm. um, definitely my entree anyway was more on the spicier side. So just keep that in mind that it is a little more unique dining. Yeah. So um, you might need a palette for that sort of thing. Yeah. I would say that like I didn't really enjoy my dish all that much, but as I always say, remember that just because our experience may have not been the greatest doesn't mean that your experience would be uh, the same. They have a very large menu. They do. Um, they have a lot of burgers on there, some other flatbreads, mm -hmm. uh, some other main courses. So uh, I think if we would have had the opportunity to try a lot more mm -hmm. stuff, uh, with a little bit more variety might have been different yeah i really did enjoy the empanadas though i thought those were amazing yeah and then the chocolate cake i mean you can't go wrong with that yeah the empanadas <laughs> are great the cake uh the dessert was pretty good you know all in all the restaurant itself is a beautiful restaurant oh it is it's very huge. well lit um and i do like how they have the open uh kitchen area so you oh, can yeah. watch them cook and stuff like that if you want to but yeah uh, in total, the total cost for the meal, uh, I think after tip was about 150. So that was for three people mm -hmm. with two entrees. Th sorry, two appetizers, three entrees, two desserts, and uh, two, two drinks. drinks. So mm -hmm. we did get an annual pass holder discount, so. uh, which was about 10 percent. Yeah. So if you are a universal annual pass holder, you can get discounts at most of the restaurants here. Yeah. So let us know if you have ever dined at Amatista's over at Universal's Sapphire Falls.